Hey, what's up with a happy Roblox family? So happy, so, so, so happy. With mom, dad, Daisy, Molly, and the baby. Cute baby. <laughs> la, 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 la. <laughs> cute little baby. La, 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 la. <laughs> We're the Star Squad smile. Don't forget to hit subscribe. I want to congratulate some of you because you did so well on your test, but some of you need to work much, much harder. You know who you are, but I'm going to give you your test scores now so you'll really know who you are. Congratulations, Daisy. You got a 100%. Seriously? A perfect score? That's amazing! I'm very proud of you, Daisy. You do so good in this class. I think I'm gonna give you a free ice cream for lunch. Wow. Really? A free dessert? Oh, that's amazing! Thank you! Thank you for being an amazing student! Brookie, you got a 95. Also an amazing grade. Seriously, I wanted to get a perfect score! Well, you can't be perfect all the time, but this is an amazing test score. You also get a free ice cream at lunch. Thank you! And Molly? Wait, where's Molly? Um, she said she had to go to the bathroom about, well, 30 minutes ago. Oh, don't tell me she's hiding out in the bathroom again. Oh, she's driving me crazy! Daisy, when you see your sister again, finally, please let her know she has after-school detention. Okay, I will, Mrs. S. Thank you, Daisy. Huh, <sighs> finally! Math class is over. I totally avoided getting my test back. <laughs> the school bell rang. That means that I got out of my math test. Oh, thank goodness. I didn't want to see my grade on that anyway. It's probably really bad. And now it's time for lunch. Hey, Brookie! Oh, um, hi, Molly. What? What's wrong? You guys look really, well, sad. Molly, we hate to tell you this, but we have bad news. If it's about my test score, I don't want to know. No, it's about you not being in class for the last 30 minutes. I couldn't help it. I had a bean burrito. And you know what happens when I have a bean burrito. Yeah, but the teacher didn't buy that. She said you have to ask to school detention. Wait, what? Yeah, Molly, it's true. I heard it too. Oh, man. Oh, large Marge. I'm having the worst day. Better make it three slices of pizza today. You got it, Molly. You want a Coca-Cola? Yeah. Oh. And, 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 and is there any way I could have a free ice cream? Sorry, only kids who did great on their math test get a free ice cream. Did you do good? Probably not. All right, Molly, where's your lunch ticket? Here you go, Large Marge. Three pieces of pizza and a Coca-Cola. <sighs> I can drown my sorrows in that at least. Don't worry, Molly. It always could be worse. I don't see how, Large Marge. We could be having sauerkraut sandwiches for lunch. Good point. <laughs> at least we're having pizza. How's the pizza, Molly? I tell you what, this ice cream that the teacher bought us is delicious. Ugh, rub it in, Daisy Jeepers. I want ice cream, too. Well, you could always have a lick of mine. Ew, gross. You don't lick ice cream after somebody else. Even I have standards. Gross. Well, don't say I did awful. Ugh, oh, so full of pizza. Ugh. Molly, why did you skip out of class and hide in the bathroom? I didn't, I really had to go. But not for 30 minutes, Molly. Come on, let's be reals. I'm your best friend. You can tell me the truth. Okay, well, I didn't think I was gonna do that good on my um, test and I, I didn't wanna face it, okay? I was kind of afraid. Oh, Molly, if you studied more. I actually did study for this test, but it was just really hard and I, I didn't know what I was doing. I feel like I'm gonna end up as well. Like the school lunch lady or something. Hey, I heard that. What's wrong with being a school lunch lady? Oh, nothing, Large Marge. Your pizzas are the most amazing in the world. I just thought I would, like, you know, be someone super special. Molly, Large Marge is very special. She does a very important job. Don't be rude. Yeah, look at me. I can even dance while I'm flipping this mop around. Oh, yeah, sorry, Large Marge. I didn't mean to hurt your feelings. I just... I'm having a bad day. I'm sorry if I took it out on you. That's okay. 
Can you forgive me and um, still make these delicious pizzas? Of course, Molly. It's all right. Everyone has a bad day, but at least you apologized. Yeah, well, better get back to class, guys. It's going to be an extra long day. Oh, I have detention. A few hours later. Well, 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 here we are again, Molly. Well, 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 yep. Um, just you and me, Miss Rachel. This is detention. It's not fun. Wow, you even wrote it on the board. You're serious. It's not fun for either of us, Molly. I could be out at Starbrooks right now with my boyfriend, but instead, I'm sitting here with you in detention again. Sorry, um, I sort of missed class because I, I ate a bean burrito. I don't care. Stop getting detention. Write on the board a million times. I will not get detention. I will not get detention. I will not get detention. Okay, fine. I will not get detention. I will not get mm, detention. I will not get detention. Oh, only 997 more. Oh, I'm going to be here all day and night and tomorrow and wait what time is it i've lost track of time don't worry it's just after school you're not going to be here for 24 hours or anything it feels like it i'm always in detention with you always one eternity later wow that was the longest attention of my life now i really do have to go to the bathroom la 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 la, la. i'm the only one left in the school <laughs> excuse me <laughs> three slices of pizza that's a bit much. La, 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 I'm a princess. Who is that? Thought I was the only one left in the school. La, 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 no one can know. I'm in an undercover princess. An undercover princess? Who's singing that? No one can know my true identity. I'm a princess. Oh my God, there's a princess who's undercover at my school. She doesn't want anybody to know her identity. Oh my gosh, guys. I need to sneak out and see who it is. Okay, I'm sneaking out, guys. Who's that? Hey, what are you doing here? What? What are you talking about? Large Marge? Oh, <laughs> it's just you. I heard somebody singing or something out here. Something about being a princess? What? I don't have any idea what you're talking about. What's that you got in your hand? A hairbrush? Pretty sure you've never used one of those before, Large Marge. <laughs> Whatever. Anyway, I've, I've got to make the sauerkraut sandwiches for tomorrow. Really? Sauerkraut sandwiches? Ugh, you were on a roll, Large Marge. You made pizza today and everything. Well, they can't all be winners. Now you better get home before it gets too late. Okay, well, have a good night. I think Large Marge actually sleeps and lives at the school. Because I always see her here. <laughs> well, I guess she's pretty dedicated to her job. But now I need to find out who that princess is. Hey, Molly! Ah, Daisy, I didn't even know you were going to be here. Yeah, I just got done with dance class. It was amazing. I did this pirouette. Daisy, I don't want to hear about it right now. I have to tell you something way more important. Food, Molly! You will let me finish telling you about dance class if you're a good sister. Okay, okay, tell me about it. And then I leapt up into the air like a fairy princess. Speaking of princesses, I'm not done talking, Molly! Oh, God, we're going to be here for a while. And then I did this turn, and oh my gosh, everyone clapped, and it was <laughs> boring. Molly! Okay, fine. You did this leap up into the air, and you pirouetted, and everyone clapped. Is that about it? Yes, Molly, exactly. Daisy, I just discovered the most amazing thing. What, Molly? What is it? I'll tell you about it on the way home. So I had detention. Daisy, are you coming? Coming, jeepers! So I had detention. What's new? And afterwards, I went into the bathroom because I really had to go. I wasn't even trying to skip detention. And guess what? What, Molly? Don't tell me about what happened in the bathroom. No, thank you. <laughs> well, I did eat that bean burrito um, for breakfast. Ew, Molly, a bean burrito for breakfast? And three slices of pizza for lunch and a Coca-Cola. Well, Molly, you've got the stomach of a billy goat. So is that all you had to tell me? 
No, somebody was singing and they sounded like an angel and they were singing about being a, pre pr a princess, being undercover, and no one could know that they were a princess. Say what? Are you serious right now? Totally. And um, when I went out, there was no princess there. Whoa, Maddie, who do you think it could be? I don't know, it's just Large Marge and she was making sauerkraut sandwiches. Maddie, we need to go to underco undercover tomorrow night after school. See if we can figure out this out. Sounds good to me, Daisy. The next day. Molly, what on earth are you wearing? Yeah, Molly, what are you wearing? Um, I'm just wearing something to go undercover. What? What are you talking about? Do you guys want to go get ice cream? Sorry, we can't. Um, we have something very important to do. Daisy, it's not going undercover if you're wearing a hat that says I'm a spy. I got this from Dad's closet, and he's a police officer, so I'm pretty sure he knows what he's doing. Obviously, he doesn't. Besides, Daisy, he spends all his time at the donut shop. I wouldn't go to him for advice. Well, I'm just saying, I, I, okay, I'll take off the hat. What are you guys spying on? We can't talk right now, Brookie, but we'll tell you as soon as we know, okay? Um, okay, guys, but you're missing out on ice cream. Don't remind me. You're going to make me so sad. Come on, Daisy, let's go hide out in the bathroom. Now we wait. For how long, Molly? Well, um, I did eat a sauerkraut sandwich for lunch, so... <laughs> Excuse me! Ew, Molly! I'm stuck in here with you! Well, <laughs> you know, it is the way it is. I'm a princess, and I'm undercover. No one can know my true identity. Oh my god, Molly, you were right! I told you, Daisy, this is serious. We have to uncover this princess. And then we have to become BFFs with her. All right, are you ready? Maddie, take off those ridiculous glasses and the mustache. Daisy, I must stash you a question. Oh, Maddie, stop with the bad jokes. No, seriously, I must stash you a question. Knock it off, Maddie. <laughs> All right, here we go. We're about to find out who the princess is. I'm a princess and I'm under... <gasps> oh my gosh! What are you kids doing here? Don't look at me! You can't see me! We saw you! Wait, that sort of looked like Large Marge? Molly, that sort of looked like Large Marge's pretty sister or something. It did look like Large Marge's relative. What are you kids doing here? Large Marge, does your sister live here? What? No, no. Wait a minute. Large Marge? Are you actually a princess? What? No. Don't. No. O-M-G. Daisy, did you get that all on video? I sure did, Molly. And, 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 and we could, we could call the news station and tell them that we have a princess that's undercover. No. No, you can't. D don't do it. Why? Why are you hiding, Large Marge? You're a princess. And can you just take off that costume already? You're so beautiful as a princess. No, I like being Marge Marge, the cafeteria lady. Why? Because I I don't like living in the palace. Why would you not like being a princess? Being a princess would be amazing. It actually isn't. It's super lonely and I like working with the kids here. But you're a princess. You're super rich. You have an amazing car. You could marry a prince. You could swim all day in your pool, and I've seen the lives of the rich and the famous princess edition. Your house is amazing. Yeah, except for my life is terrible. All I do all day is sit there and be lonely. I love you, kids. I'd miss you. But you can't just be here undercover. It's not who you really are. Well, Molly, I don't see why it's causing any problems. Yeah, and besides, if you keep my secret, I'll give you free ice creams for life. Well, now we're talking. Can we just see you as a princess one more time, though? Well, all right. Holy guacamole, you gorgeous large march. That's Princess Margaret. It's always going to be <clears throat> large march to you guys, though. We have to keep this our little secret forever. Or I'm going to have to go back to that palace, and it's like a prison. Please, keep my secret. Okay, well, please serve me an ice cream then, Princess Margaret. You've got it, Molly. <laughs> you want one too, Daisy? Sure, Large Marge, but how do you change your voice like that? 
<laughs> Changing your voice is easier than you think. Wow, this is delicious. Hey, Princess Margaret, do you think you could never serve us sauerkraut sandwiches ever again and just serve us pizza every single day of school? Don't push your luck. <laughs> I like how she's like Princess Margaret, and then she's like, Large Marge. It sounds kind of crazy. I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> That's pretty funny, Princess Margaret. I like knowing that you're a princess. It's so cool. Yeah, it really is. And free ice cream for life. Why is this math homework so hard? Well, Molly, maybe it's so hard because you're busy kind of watching Brooke High instead of paying attention. Yeah, Molly, you can't watch TV and study at the same time. Um, yes I can. It's called multitasking. Yeah, and you're going to do two things terribly. Ay, ay, ay. Just pay attention, Molly. Seriously, turn off the TV. Oh, this homework really is so hard. I have to admit, it is pretty challenging, Daisy. Why you guys say it's so hard? It's not so hard being a big kid. What? Yes, it is. What do you know about it? You're just a baby. But I think being a big kid is super easy. Yep, yep, yep. Well, baby Kira, we think being, being a baby is pretty easy. Yeah, what's so hard about being a baby? Obviously, learning how to eat. Learning how to not drool, learning how to crawl, learning how to walk, learning how to poo-poo on the party is very challenging. <laughs> All of that stuff is baby stuff. That's not even difficult. Try doing this math homework. You just forget what it's like to be a baby. It's harder than it looks. I dare you and all of Brookhaven to be babies for 24 hours. Then maybe you'll remember. 24 hours? Easy peasy. It's going to be the easiest 24 hours of my life. I take the dare. Yeah, I think I'll take the dare too. It's been a long time since I've been a baby. Well, not that long. You were just crying over your spilled makeup yesterday. That was pretty babyish. Molly, stop teasing me. It's annoying, okay? <laughs> ah, I'm just being a good sister and driving you crazy. I think that it's time for you all to be babies. <laughs> no, Molly, not that real. You're a newborn. You have to be about a year older. Oh, <laughs> my bad. Is this better? Yeah, you are little babies like me. And now you have to live your life for the next 24 hours in my world. Good luck. Hmm, I'm kind of hungry. Let me go see what's in the refrigerator. You're not allowed to eat anything out of the fridge where your mom said. Okay, Daisy. Okay, Brookie. Come on, we have to go to the diner. I'm hungry. Also, you're a big crybaby. Take that back. You're going to get a timeout. No way. You can't give me a timeout. You're not my mommy. Is it just me or is this table like really tall? I can't even see over the top of it. How am I going to eat my food? Well, Molly, that's because we're a lot smaller because we're babies. So we can't see over the table anymore. Well, they should make baby tables at the diner. It's just rude that they don't have baby tables. They do, Molly. It's called a high chill. Duh. Whatever, Daisy. You're so rude. You think you're so smart. Oh, well, you're just a baby like the rest of us. What? Why is a baby waiting on us? Because, Molly, remember, everybody in Brookhaven is a baby for 24 hours. Holy guacamole. Well, I guess she's our waitress. Hi, I'll be taking your order today. Sorry, I'm still working on my speech and everything, but what can I get for you? I'll have a Happy Meal. Sorry, this isn't McDonald's, duh. But I wanted a Happy Meal. <coughs> Molly, stop being such a baby. She can't help it. She actually is a baby. I'll make you get your kid's meal, though, if you want or something. Yeah, I guess a kid's meal will be good. Yeah, I'll have a kid's meal too. Three kid's meals, please. Hey, wait, aren't you going to write down what we want? No, I'll have right. I'm just a baby. <laughs> I got to remember it. 
Well, we did only order three kids' meals. Yeah, but we still need drinks. I want... Hey, wait, I'm not done ordering! My, don't be rude. Couldn't get us kicked out. Okay, well, I wanted something to drink. I'm thirsty and I'm hungry. Being a baby is making me kind of cranky. Oh, no, she pooped her pants, didn't you, Molly? No, but Daisy, I can't even see your face. You stand up. You're so short. Don't tease me, okay? I'm not. I just, I can't even talk to you because you're so short. Okay, I'm going to just, I'm standing on the table. Coming over there to sit next to you guys. No, you can't sit here. You're too big. What? No, I want to sit with you guys. What? What's taking our food so long? Hey, what are you doing up there? Oh, sorry. I forgot to put in your order because I got busy watching Coco Melon. You ever see this Halloween special? Hey, it's not even Halloween. Oh, my gosh. This baby waitress is annoying. Where are all the grown-ups? There weren't any, Molly. We're all babies. Oh, my stomach's really starting to growl. I'm going to start getting hangry. Ah. Here you go. Order's up. What? A bottle? Wait, why are we getting... Oh, fine. I guess I'll just drink this bottle. Sorry, the cook is a baby and he doesn't know how to make the kids meals. It's all right. I'm a baby, so I like baby bottles. Blech. Gross. Yeah, Molly, see, excuse me. Nah, I'm a baby. I don't have to. That bottle was good, but I'm still hungry. Well, we could go to the grocery store and we could get um some food there. Oh, that's exactly what a parent would do. All right, let's go. We can get some, we can get some, um, we can get some candy. We can get some popcorn. That doesn't sound very healthy, Molly. Of course it doesn't. We're babies. We want to eat anything we want. And a cheeseburger, and Molly, the grocery store doesn't have a made cheeseburger. Okay, well, they might. They might! I want to get in the car, Molly. Me too. I want to ride in the car, too. Nah, 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 nah. Um, apparently we can't ride in the car because... Hey, I wanted to ride in the car! Oh, you're too fat. I can't push you. I am fat. I'm just tiny baby, and you are too, and that's why you can't push me. Because you're not strong enough. Okay, fine, whatever. Just get out of the cart so I can put Doritos in there. Okay, I'll put Doritos in the cart. Okay, is it, it's not letting me put Doritos in the cart. All right, I'll just, I'll put them in my hands. That, that'll, that'll work. Okay, I got some Doritos. You guys get, you guys get some soda and Daisy, you, you get, um, you get a candy bar. Boy, she's a boss, baby, if I ever saw one. Come on, guys, I'm hungry. I want to check out. Wait, there's, there's no cashier. Yeah, there's a cashier. I'm just down here. What? A baby cashier? And it's a boy. What? It's a boy? <laughs> it's a boy. Um, you, you have to have money to buy that. Money? Is that how our parents get all this cool stuff? Glug, 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 glug. I don't know. I'm just drinking this Coca-Cola. I didn't know I had to pay for it. Oh my gosh, you better call the police. You're gonna end up in jail. Okay, here you go. Here's your Doritos back. It's okay, we'll go get some money. We just gotta go to the bank. All right, let's go to the bank, guys. Guys, come on. Daisy, don't steal the candy bar. What are you doing? I'll pay for it when we get back. No, leave it here. We're gonna get arrested. And then we'll be in baby jail. I've heard horrible stories about baby jail. They don't even come in to change our diaper. Um, guys, what are we waiting for? We're not allowed to cross the street without a grown-up to hold our hands. Yeah, everybody knows that. That is so wrong when you're a baby to cross the street without your parents. You can get hit by a car. I don't see a car anywhere, guys. Well, we still can't cross the street without a grown-up. Then we're just going to be standing here forever. I nominate Molly to be the grown-up. Okay, Molly, you look both ways. No cars. Okay, we can go. Excuse me, cash machine. I would like to get some cash. Um, Molly, I don't think that's how it works. I think you have to have, like, this card thing. Card thing? Well, I don't have one of those. I thought it was just, like, it could just, like, hear what we wanted and give us money. Molly, did you ever really pay attention when Mom came to the ATM? Not really, but where are we going to get one of these cards? We're not, Molly. Just face it. We're terrible as babies. Oh, baby Kira was right. Being a baby is harder than I thought. And squishier. What do you mean, squishier, Molly? What do you mean?
mean by that? Yeah, Molly, did you step in some slime or bubble gum on the way over here? No! I made a doo-doo in my diaper and it's super squishy! Ew, gross, Molly! Is that what that smell is? It smells like cow poo! Ew, Molly! Somebody changed my diaper! That me, I'm out of here! Me too, gross! Ooh. Hey, I thought you were my best friend! Well, you're my sister, you're gonna help me, right? Absolutely not! Goodbye, squishy butt! Daisy, do you want to come outside and play soccer with me? Sorry, Marley, but I have to do some studying. Daisy, come on. Don't be such a bookworm all the time. Marley, studying is very important for my brain health and growth. And getting fresh air is also important for you. Come on, Daisy. All right, Marley, I'll come out for half an hour. Then I can come back to study. Yes! Finally, I can practice my soccer drills with somebody. La, 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 la. Where's that soccer ball? Oh, wait, here it is. Okay, Molly, what are you playing soccer so much for lately? I want to try to make it onto the soccer team at school. La, 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 la. I'm going to be amazing at soccer. Here you go, Daisy. I kicked it to you. Well, that wasn't exactly to me, but, you know, close enough. <laughs> I still need a little bit of practice, that's for sure. We could get an ice cream cone after this. Molly, I told you I have to study. I keep tripping over this. Why does it keep following me? Ah! It's like caught in a loop. That was really weird. Don't do that on Sacco Tryout Day, Molly. Oh, man. It went to the shrubs over here. Bull, come back here. Don't go down the hill. Don't you dare. Don't go down the hill. Oh, my God. I hate when this happens in Brookhaven. Seriously. You know what I do when this happens, Daisy? What, Molly? What? I just spawned a new soccer ball. Because I'm not chasing it. Like, seriously, that's just ridiculous. Hey, Molly, look, it's Bookie. Oh, Bookie, hi. You want to play soccer with us? Sorry, Molly, can't. I, um, have to go home right now. Why, you got to go poo-poo or something? We have a bathroom, you know. No, I just can't today. Sorry, Molly. But she always wants to hang out with me. But maybe she's just busy today, Molly. Since when has my BFF ever been too busy to hang out with me? Uh, yeah, you have a point. But I'm sure she has a good reason. Don't fret about it, Molly. Girls, come on in. I made a delicious snack. Chocolate chip cookies. Wow. Okay, soccer, pra soccer practice is over. Time for a cookie. <laughs> I love when mom makes cookies. Mmm, these are delicious. Now remember, girls, one cookie apiece. These cookies are huge. And you don't want to spoil your appetite for your healthy dinner. No, we wouldn't want to do that. Just kidding. Give me all the cookies. Molly, don't be rude. Just say please and only one. Mmm, ah, these cookies are so good. Um, can I please have about five more? <laughs> Molly, maybe tomorrow you can have another one. I have to wait until tomorrow? I better really take my time with this cookie. It's all I'm getting. It's all I'm getting! Molly, you're so dramatic. I said tomorrow you could probably have another one. That's tomorrow! Today's today! Ay, 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 Molly. Today's almost over and you still have to eat dinner. Hmm. I think chocolate chip cookies make the perfect dinner. <laughs> See you next, Melvin. Good morning, students! Good morning, Mrs. S! Today we're going to be practicing our spelling words. Ugh. I studied so hard for this, Mrs. S. Great job, Daisy. I knew you would. All right. For our first word, Molly, why don't you come up onto the um, come up to the board and spell it for me? Uh oh. What's it gonna be? Hippopotamus. Hippopotamus. Oh, I get to spell the hardest word of the entire spelling quiz. Oh. Hip. Uh. Hip. Uh, hip. Okay. And then I remember it was O. O P O T A M U S. Yeah, that's it. Definitely. <laughs> What's so funny, Daisy? <laughs> you spelled hip poop tonibus. Hip poop tonibus. <laughs> what? What? Um, Molly, did you mean to spell the word poop on the board? <laughs> Molly. Um, uh, okay, let me fix it. Is that better? Spell it out for me, Molly. 
H-I-P-P-O-P-O-T-A-M-U-S. Very good, Molly. And for the actual quiz, remember there's no poop in hippopotamus. Actually, if they eat enough food, there is definitely. Molly, sit down, please. <laughs> oh, boy, lunch. We're even having bean burritos today. Hey, Brookie, wait up. Sorry, Molly, I have to get my bean burrito and then I have to get going. What? Um, yeah, I'm not going to be in the lunchroom today. Why? Do you have a doctor's appointment or something? Going to Disney World? Tell me what's happening. No, I'm just going to do uh, something else in the art room. What? But we always sit next to each other at lunch. I know, but not today, Molly. I'm really sorry. But, but Brookie, we're BFFs and we always sit together at lunch. Okay, Molly. Uh, where's your school lunch ticket? Oh, I forgot it at home. I'm sorry, Large Marge. Seems that nothing's going right for me today. What do you mean, Molly? You need to talk to somebody about this? Uh, yeah. Thanks for listening, Large Marge. No, the school counselor's down the hall. I'm just a lunch lady. I, I, I'm not good at listening. But, but... Sorry, all I do is make bean burritos. <laughs> and they're good, Large Marge. Thanks for listening, I guess. Molly, where's Bookie? She's, um... Not gonna sit by us today. Say what? What are you talking about? She always sits next to you, Molly. I know, but today she has something else to do. What's gotten into her? I don't know what's gotten into her. She just seems to be, well, distracted. And maybe she doesn't want to be my friend anymore. Molly, I don't think that's it. Uh, it might be it. Large Marge, you said you weren't listening to my problems. Sorry, <laughs> couldn't help it over here. Well, you're not very helpful either, Large Marge. Good thing you're the lunch lady and not the school counselor. Ay, ay, ay. Marty, just eat your bean burrito. It'll make you feel better. Nothing's going to make me feel better until I figure out what's going on with Brookie. Well, you could just invite her out for ice cream. Tell her it's your treat. If she refuses that, then I know something's wrong. She loves chocolate ice cream. You've got a point, Daisy. I'm going to do it today after school. A few hours later. Oh, hey, Molly. Hey, Brookie. Oh, I'm so glad to see you. Um, do you want to walk home? Sorry, I need to take the school bus. But I was thinking that... Uh, wait, Brookie, wait. I'm trying to tell you something. Oh, sorry, Molly. I've been in such a rush today. Um, yeah, I, I wanted to ask you if... You wanted to go get ice cream with me. Uh, I, I'll pay for it. My treat. Uh, two scoops of chocolate with chocolate sauce. Your favorite. Oh, that sounds really good, Molly. But I'm really sorry. I can't. I have to get right home. Bye. Oh, Molly. This isn't good. This isn't good at all. Bit an alien took over your friend. What? No, that's not it. Oh, and I missed the bus. So now I've got to walk home alone. I could walk home with you. Uh, no. Pass. Molly! Well, you're my sister and you're kind of annoying. Uh, I've been trying to help you all day. I've got something else that I need to do. I'm sorry, Daisy. Uh, that's okay. I'm going to sit at the library and study a little bit anyway. I hope you figure out things with Bookie. Thanks. I think I'm going to need a lot of luck. Oh my gosh. What is going on with my BFF? Does she not want to be my friend anymore or something? I have an idea. <laughs> I'm going to go to her house without her knowing. And spy on her. Okay, maybe that's not a great idea, but um, it's probably a good one. Molly, don't do it. You know that you shouldn't spy on your friend when she doesn't know you're there. Who said that? I'm your angel of consciousness. And I, I tell you to do good things. Ha 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 ha. Don't listen to her. Huh? What? what? Why am I hearing all these voices? <laughs> I'm the little devil that lives inside you, and I say spy on your friend. Spy, spy, spy. Don't listen to him, Molly. He's evil. What? I don't know who to listen to, but I gotta figure out what my best friend is doing, so sorry, Angel. I'm listening to the little devil inside of me. <laughs> Molly, no! <laughs> so glad we got rid of her. Come on, let's go. Okay. Probably listening to you is a bad idea, but... I do need to see what Brookie's up to. <laughs> and we're about to find out. All right, here's Brookie's house. I'm going to guess she's probably in her room. And I can't go inside, so I'm going to try to climb this tree. And ugh, I'm not very um, good at climbing this particular type of tree because there's nothing to grab onto. And what's that sound? Sounds like it's coming from her garage. 
All right, guys, I'm gonna be very careful and sneak up so she doesn't see me spying on her. What is she doing? She's building something. Wonder what it could be. Oh my gosh, I know what she's doing. She's making me a birthday present. My birthday is, well, tomorrow, and I bet she's building that for me. All right, now it makes sense to me. Of course my best friend would still want to be my best friend. She's just doing something really nice for me, and I don't want to ruin her surprise. So I'm just going to sneak away, go home, and pretend I never saw this. <laughs> Actually, I'm going to text her really quick. Hi, Brookie. It's me, Molly, and I just want to tell you that I love you. You're my BFF forever. Send. <laughs> I can't believe she's making me an amazing present. Just love her. See you next, Melman. Woohoo! It's my birthday! Bookie's gonna give me a present. <laughs> I wouldn't count on it. Don't be so rude, you little devil! Of course her best friend's gonna give her a birthday present! <laughs> I don't think so. She was probably just building something for herself. She doesn't even want to be friends with you anymore. Oh, tell that devil to be quiet already! Yeah, both of you should probably be quiet. You're driving me kind of crazy on my birthday. Uh, Molly, who exactly are you talking to? Oh, nobody. Who's that? <gasps> Brookie! Hi, come on in! Oh, man, I've missed seeing you. Hey, Molly, I've missed seeing you too. But I wanted to tell you something. Yeah, yeah, what is it? Happy birthday! I have a big surprise for you. <laughs> I knew it. Wait, what? Nothing, I said thank you. <laughs> Come on outside. I'll show you. What? She made you a big prize? That's amazing. Do you want to come too, Daisy? Really? You want me to? Of course. Molly, happy birthday. Thanks, sister. Come on, guys. Let's go see the surprise. I hope you love it, Molly. I worked so hard on it. That's why I haven't been around as much. Where is it? Where, where'd you hide it? Right here, silly. What is this? I built you your very own ice cream cart. Complete with all of your favorite flavors. Holy guacamole! Whoa, Molly! Your birthday couldn't be any better. That's like the best present for you ever because all you ever think about is your stomach. <laughs> Happy birthday to me! Happy birthday to me! Happy birthday to my stomach and me! Happy birthday to me! <laughs> Brookie, I love you. Thank you for being so nice. Come on, try some of the ice cream! I even put a, a built-in cooler in it so it doesn't melt. Mm. Wow! Delicious! Happy birthday, BFF. Thanks, Brookie. Thanks. Hush, hush now, little Ember. Shh, shh, shh. Everything's going to be fine. How is everything going to be fine? We're abandoning our baby. It's the right thing to do. Uh, they'll never understand. But, but she's our baby. <laughs> wee, wee. Shh, shh, shh. Ember, everything's going to be fine. You'll see. Your new family will love you so much. That's right, baby. You be a good girl now for your new mommy and daddy. And just know... Your mother and I will never, ever forget you. Be ready to run, honey. I I'm about to ring the doorbell. I can't leave her. We have to. We have to. Okay, I'll ring the doorbell. Run! She'll have a better life, honey. I promise. I hope you're right. I miss my baby already. Oh my gosh, I'm actually on time today. Congratulations. This is the first time in history that you're not going to get detention. <laughs> oh, very funny. You think that my achievements aren't amazing, but I think they're really amazing. Yay, Molly, you're not getting detention. You're doing what you're supposed to. Daisy, why are you so in my face right now? Oh, sorry. I was just a little too close, but I wanted you to hear me clapping and, and, and applauding for how amazing you are for just being a mediocre student. Hey, I think I'm a pretty good student. I mean, I showed up today. Isn't that enough? Ay, 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 Molly. Good morning, class. Good morning. Everybody, please take your seats. Whoa, Molly, you're on time. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. All right, take your seats, everyone. I have an announcement. 
new student today. I want you to all be very kind when she comes in. And you know, if you wanted to be her friend, ask her to sit with you at lunch, that would be so nice of you. I bet the new student is a total loser. Um, Sarah, that's not very nice. Everyone say hello to Ember. Ember, what kind of weird name is that? Well, I think it's a very cool name, Sarah. Quit teasing her, Jeepers. She just got in the classroom. Hi, everyone. I'm Ember. Um, this is a new school for me, so I'm like a little nervous because I don't have any friends here or anything. But I hope that I can be friends with you guys, if that's cool. Yeah, we'll be friends with you. Her face and her makeup are like really weird. Uh, Sarah, I would like you to go see the principal now. What? What did I do? You're being very rude to the new student. Sorry about that, Ember. No, it's okay. I'm used to it. I've started over at like five new schools now. Five new schools? Wow, you move around a lot. Are your parents in the military or something? No, <laughs> it just never really works out for me at any of my schools. Oh, well, um, I'm Molly, by the way, and this is my annoying sister, Daisy. I'm not annoying, don't listen to her. Well, hi, Molly and Daisy. Our best friend, um, Brookie Cookie's not here today because she has a stomach flu, and basically she's sitting on the toilet all day. At least that's what she told me. Molly, are you sure that Pookie would want you to say that? Hey, it's the truth. <laughs> oh, sorry about your friend. Uh, would you like to sit with us at lunch, Ember? Sure, that would be great. Thanks so much. What can I get for you? Oh, hey, Large Marge. Um, let's see, got any tater tots today? No, I'm about to cut this garlic bread. Oh, is that why you got a knife in your teeth? That's kind of creepy. How else do you think I'm going to cut the garlic bread? Um, I don't know, but I'll take a piece of the garlic bread. Great, fine. Awesome. Ember, don't worry about it. Our lunch lady, Large Marge, is a little bit crazy, but she's a good cook. Except for when she makes sauerkraut sandwiches. Ew, why would she make sauerkraut sandwiches? I don't know, ask her. Uh, no thanks. <laughs> she might give me one, and I don't want a sauerkraut sandwich. But I would like some Tabasco sauce. Do you have any ghost peppers and jalapenos? Holy guacamole, Ember. Now I know why you have your name, Ember. All that stuff sounds super spicy. I love fiery foods. It's my favorite. Daisy, aren't you going to eat school lunch? Absolutely not. That stuff will clog your arteries quick. Tato tots. Ay, ay, ay. I need to live forever so I can make the most amazing science discovery. Don't mind my sister. Like I said, annoying. Oh, very funny, Molly. So, Ember, what do your parents do for a living? Oh, um... Well, first of all, I guess I should say I'm adopted. What? That's so cool! Yeah, I don't really know who my real parents are. I was left on the doorstep of a, as a baby at my adopted parents' house. Say what? Just, just abandoned there? As a sweet little baby? Are you serious right now? Yeah, but my adoptive parents are super cool. They're a little strict though, but you know, it's okay. Do you ever wonder why or how your parents just like uh, left you there? I wonder about it all the time. Did they leave a note? Yeah, they just said, this is our little girl, Ember. We can't keep her. Please take super good care of her. Wow, that is amazing. Oh boy, here comes Sarah. Ugh, look, it's the new loser student who's got a weird face and a weird name and everything's weird about her. Ugh, I'm gonna post about this right now. You better not, Sarah. Don't be rude. She's a new student and she's really nice. Whatever. Uh, okay, I'm gonna take a selfie first because I look great today. Actually, I think she kind of looks a little grumpy, but you know, it's just me. Well, why don't we take a picture of Ember so I can show everybody how weird she is. That's not very nice. Take that back. Not a chance. Don't worry, she's just being a bully. It's what she does. I don't I don't like being bullied. Take that back. Weirdo. I'm not taking it back. You're a weirdo. Take that back! Uh Ember, are you okay? What? Yeah, I'm fine. I'm just getting really angry. Um, I think you might want to just cool it down a little bit. What is going on with your eyes? They look like they're on fire. Oh, uh, this is weird. Yeah, take back what you said to me, bully. No, you're still a weirdo. And I think you're kind of ugly, too. Take it back. Ah! Oh my god! Ah, uh, somebody get some water! Ember's on fire! Okay, I just gotta look for that janitor bucket. It's around here somewhere. Got it! Just gotta fill it up with some water. Why won't the sink turn on? Okay, well, toilet water it is, you know. Beggars can't be choosers. 
Okay, got it. Ember, Ember, I've got some water. Everything's gonna be okay. Molly, stand back. I've got the fire extinguisher. Okay, that's that's probably better than the toilet water. Hold still, Ember. What are you guys talking about? I like being on fire. Now take back what you said to me, bully. You need to calm down, Ember. You're gonna burn the whole Brookhaven school down. Ah! Don't spray me. I don't like water. Uh, I, I'm sorry. I, I think I let my anger get the best of me. Um, the Sarah, I think you should probably leave now. Whatever, weirdos. Ugh, I knew there was some reason for me to just like not like you guys at all. Okay, that's fine. Just go. Ember, are you okay? What happened? Um, I'm not really sure. It just, it happens at my other schools too. When I got a little mad. O-M-G. Is that why your parents keep moving you to new schools? Yeah. They don't know why I turned to fire. Wow. I think I might know. Really? Why? I'm taking notes for my science experiment when I come over to my laboratory after school. Daisy, she's not your science experiment. Well, she could be. Daisy! Get your head in the game here. Um, okay, so I, I'm just asking her. Is it okay if I just, like, poke you with some needles and... Daisy! Okay, fine. Molly, what's your answer as to what's going on here? I think her parents wear elements. What? Yeah, don't worry. If we find your parents, we can get all of the answers. Well, I don't know. I mean, they're going to be really hard to find. We have no choice, Ember. We have to find them. And you have to try to control your anger. Especially when someone calls you weird. Well, I don't like being called weird. <laughs> Nobody calls me weird. Uh-oh, she's starting to smoke again. Let me get the fire extinguisher. Ember, try to control your anger. Can you do it? Think about happy things. Puppies, kittens, and, 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 um, pizza. Okay, I think I'm calming down now. Good, see? You can control it. This is good. Now, we just have to find out where your parents are so we can figure out what what are you. Well, she's obviously the element of fire, duh. I could have told you that one. <laughs>show you this amazing fan video that we found on YouTube and today's video is going to be based on this fan art it says Molly and Daisy but they're evil twins Polly and Maisie bam, bam, bam. oh my god this is amazing yeah! oh my gosh Polly is so creepy look at Maisie whoa I like my little pumpkin barrette yeah, it's adorable. Until you turn into that. <laughs> awesome artwork. Shout out to Maria. We love it. And today's video is going to be based on your fan art. Molly, are you feeling okay? Not really. That Starbucks we got, it upset my stomach really bad. But it's making me feel kind of sleepy. That's just happening because you ate too much, Molly. I hardly ate anything. All I had was one muffin, one sandwich, and two lattes. Ali, that's a lot of food. So that's what I normally eat. Oh, I don't feel so good. Maybe a good night's sleep will make you feel better, Molly. I hope so. Oh. See you next morning.
Just trust me on this. Girls, come on. It's time to wake up. I thought maybe we could go school shopping today. We could take Brookie along if you want. Go away. Well, Molly, that's not very nice. Whoa, do you have pink eye? What's going on with your eyes? No, my eyes are just fine. I just stayed up too late, so they're a little red. Whoa, Daisy, your eyes look red too. I think you guys need to see the eye doctor. I think you both might have pink eye. Uh, eyes a fine lady. Whoa, lady? I was your mama just last night. Now all of a sudden I'm just lady? Would a lady make you breakfast? Pancakes? Sorry, ma'am. Yeah, we'll eat your crummy pancakes. What has gotten into you? Nothing, mom. She's fine. Maisie, pull it together before she figures out that we're not Molly and Daisy. Oh, sorry, mom. I just woke up on the wrong side of the bed. No problem. Everybody has difficult mornings. Now, come on. Let's go eat breakfast. Molly, I know how much you love extra peanut butter on your pancakes with a little bit of syrup. So that's exactly how I made them for you. Ew. Pancakes with syrup and... Peanut butter? You love peanut butter. What are you talking about? Not on my pancakes. That's disgusting. Molly, are you feeling okay? You love to have peanut butter and then syrup. It's like your favorite. Ew. Gross, Mom. Okay, well, I guess you're growing up now and you don't like the same things. It seems kind of weird to me. Okay, Mom, well, can you leave us alone now? Hey, Polly, you're supposed to like the same things as Molly, remember? You're going to give us away. Oh, yeah, true. Um, hey, we're gonna go play with our best friend. Wait, what's her name? Um, Brookie? Yeah, we're gonna go play with her, and then when we come back, can we go school shopping? Sure, but only be a couple of hours, girls, okay? Because I'm gonna do some laundry and clean up the house a bit, and then we're gonna leave, okay? Okay, fine. Come on, let's go. The pressure to be exactly like Molly around this lady is driving me crazy. Who's that? I don't know, but oh, I hope she doesn't run into us. Hey, guys, what's up? Uh, hi, do we know you? We don't talk to strangers. <laughs> you are being so silly right now, Molly. Apparently, she knows who we are. Um, did you guys both get bonks on the head? Uh, it's me, Brookie. Oh, Brookie! Our best friend? Yeah, our best friend, yeah. What do we like to do, Brookie? You girls are acting really, really weird. What's up with your eyes? They're so red. Do you guys have pink eye or something? No, we just have red eyes, okay? Leave it alone already. Now, what should we do for fun? Um, well, you guys like to ride bikes, right? So uh, I could ride my skateboard. You could ride bikes. Perfect. Now, where's my bike? Molly, you keep it locked in the garage for safekeeping. Remember? Oh, yeah, exactly. Um, Molly, what's Daisy doing? I'm going to take Dad's motorcycle. Riding bikes is boring. She doesn't even know how to ride a motorcycle. Of course I do. Now I don't got to ride a motorcycle is lame. Well, you heard her. She wants to ride a motorcycle. Um, you guys are acting really strange today. I think maybe I'll go home. No, don't go home. Then we got to hang out with that lady inside and I don't want to. You mean your mom? Did she make you pancakes for breakfast? Yeah, why? Well, then maybe you should be nicer to her. I mean, she always makes you something delicious for breakfast and... I'm back. Who wants to ride on my Harley? I will. Sounds fun. See you later, Brookie, since you don't want to hang out with us. Um, okay. Wow, those guys are acting so weird. Um, let's get out of here, Maisie. I cannot stand being around these people anymore. Maybe we could go rob a bank or something. Hey, uh, low profile? Duh. We're supposed to be taking over Molly and Daisy's life, not making everyone think that we're bad guys. Exactly. Wait, why are we trying to take over their lives? So we have a pre free place to stay. Pancakes every morning. Yeah, that's true. That sounds like the good life to me, but I still want to rob the bank. Oh, this Maisie, she is so annoying. Okay, well, all right, I'm taking the motorcycle. Have fun. Hey, get back here. Oh, man, I don't have any money, and I want Starbucks. I'm starving. Well, good thing I've solved that problem. What? Maisie, look at all that cash. You didn't want me to rob the bank, but you sure want to use my money when you need something from Starbucks. Well, she does have a point. <laughs> well, 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 who do we have here? Two losers, Molly and Daisy. I don't know who you think you are, but you've come to Molly and Daisy. Yeah, that's who. On the wrong day. What, loser? What are you saying? I'm saying that shirt is so last season and it makes me want to throw up along with your face. What? What did you just say? Yeah, why are you always bullying everybody? Obviously, you're not even that good at it. What? What? 
And your shoes are gross. It looks like you stepped in dog poop in them. Yeah. Ugly. That's what you are. Yeah, I'm gonna spray it with this fire extinguisher. <laughs> Get out of here, bully. Oh my God. I don't know what happened to Molly and Daisy, but they're the worst bullies, even worse than me. <laughs> Way to go. This was amazing, Polly. Yeah, good job, Maisie. I don't know who that bully was. But apparently we got rid of her real fast. Girls, there you are. You've been gone for hours and hours and hours. I told you to come back in two hours so we could go school clothes shopping. Well, it looks like it didn't make any difference to you. You're still doing dishes. Well, th that's not the point. I told you to come back in two hours. Ah, fine. Well, at least I made you eat bean burritos. You know, I thought you'd be hungry. Wow, that's cool, lady. Why are you guys calling me lady? I'm your mom. Now go sit down and you can eat your bean burritos. Okay. Does she even know that I don't really like bean burritos? Must be Molly really likes them. Well, Molly, that's your second bean burrito and, well, nothing's happening. What should happen? Except for the fact it's giving me heartburn. Heartburn? No, 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 no. You haven't even farted. Not even one time. Huh? What? No, I never fart from bean burritos. What? I have my gas meter out and, and no gas has come out of you at all. You're an imposter. Where's Molly? What? What are you talking about? You are not my daughter. Where is she? Daisy, we're never going to get out of here. Don't say that, Molly. Someone will eventually figure out that we're down here. What's that delicious smell? It smells like... Smells like mom's making bean burritos. Oh boy, huh, we're missing bean burritos. Smells so good. <laughs> Ew, Molly, we're stuck in the same prison cell. Why'd you do that? Because if I even smell a bean burrito, I fart. Somebody help! I'm stuck down here and it smells really bad. Help! <laughs> Ugh, I'm starving. I'm gonna eat that last piece of pizza. Uh, Marty is so sorry, but I already ate it. What? Why did you eat the last piece of pizza? You did that on purpose. You knew I'd want to eat that. Oh, sorry, Marty. I didn't know you wanted it, honestly. When have I not wanted pizza? Duh! That's so ignoramus. Marty, you're being really mean to me right now. I don't really appreciate that. Well, ugh, I wanted to eat that and I'm hungry and I'm going to have to eat a stinky old banana. Bananas are good for you, Molly. Blah, 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 blah. Just leave me alone, Daisy. Whoa, what's wrong with her? She's being so rude. What's wrong with you, Daisy? You're just being an annoying sister. Well, I guess this banana will have to do. <laughs> what, what was that sound? Daisy, are you okay? Did you fall down the stairs or something? Just go away, Molly. I don't want to talk to you. No, seriously, Daisy, what happened? Are you all right? <laughs> You're being so mean to me lately. I didn't mean to eat the pizza that you wanted to eat. I'm sorry. I was just hungry. Oh, Daisy. I'm, I'm, I'm sorry. Whatever. You've been mean to me for like two days. I don't think you are sorry. I don't think you even want me to be your sister. <laughs> Um, okay. Really, really, I'm sorry, Daisy. Oh, man. Maybe I have been kind of mean to my sister. Just been kind of grumpy because we've been getting so much homework at school. And Mom and Dad just made me do extra chores this week. I've just been really stressed out. And I wanted to eat that pizza, but I guess they kind of took it out on Daisy. And I don't know. She's really sad, and, and I feel like it's all my fault. I need to do something to make it up to her. But what? But what? But what? <gasps> I've got it! I know something she'd love to do. Let me just look at my wallet and see how much money I have. All right, I have one, two, three. I have $50. Okay, that's plenty of money. Daisy! 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 Molly, I told you I don't want to talk to you. You're making me really sad and, and, and just, just big me. Leave me alone. <laughs> Daisy, first of all, I can get you a tissue if you want. I don't need anything from you, Molly, except for peace and quiet. Um, Daisy, I have to show you something. Why are you making it rain with that money, Molly? Why are you doing that? You trying to brag you have money now on top of being mean to me? No, I'm going to spend it on you, Daisy. Say what? You never spend your money on me. What are you talking about, Molly? This better not be a prank. It's not a prank, Daisy. I'm being honest. 
I've been, well, kind of mean to you. Molly, why are you throwing it over your shoulder? Because I, I read once and it's good luck. And if you throw your money over your shoulder, it'll multiply and multiply and multiply. Anyway, I've been mean to you. And I know I have. And I'm sorry. So I want to do something nice for you. I have a surprise for you. Seriously? I is this a prank? No, it's not a prank, Daisy. All right, um... Just make sure you wear a coat because it's kind of chilly out. But meet me in the car in 10 minutes. This better not be a prank. Daisy, it's not a prank. I promise. Just wear your coat and come on. Actually, Daisy, it's not that cold out. Weird. It's like almost Thanksgiving and it's like 60 degrees. All right, Daisy, just come get in the car. Are you ready to have a great time? Only if you could figure out how to drive, Molly. OMG. Okay, I'm not the world's best driver, but it's going to be okay. I think. Molly, you just ran into the wall. Is this a prank? No, I'm just terrible at driving. Here, Daisy, you better drive and I'll give you directions. Where are we going? Well, I can't tell you that. I have to blindfold you. Ma Molly, you can't blindfold me when I'm driving. What are you talking about? Okay, you're going to head out of town on I-80. All right, Molly. Wait a minute. Are we going to check it, Cheese? All right, you guessed it. Yeah. Oh, my God. Are you serious? I love that place. I mean, I'm kind of grown up for it now, but I still love it. I know. I thought it'd be like when we were kids and we actually got along better. Anyway, Daisy, I'm sorry I've been so miserable. I still love you, even if you are an annoying sister. Um, yeah, Molly. Ditto. Chuck E. Cheese! Wow, Molly! Don't pay attention to my face in Roblox, because I'm just like, nah, this isn't that cool. But I'm actually thinking, holy guacamole, this place is cool! Yeah, uh, for some reason our animated faces aren't working, but we're both very excited. Come on, Dizzy, let's look at these amazing games. Yeah, I'm gonna eat a piece of pizza, drink some soda. Oh, look at all these delicious things. Pizza slice. Uh, the undefeated classic, always fresh, cheeseburger, taco, nothing but delicious, and filling. Oh my god, and look at all the toys you can win. A Chuck E. Cheese guy, a skateboard, OMG. Those look like Minecraft versions of Chuck E. Cheese characters. I love it. I did too, Molly, but I think we should go um, check out the games now. Yeah, totally. Okay, this isn't the biggest Chuck E. Cheese ever, but it still looks cool. You guys, you can play skee-ball, basketball, um, you can ride with Chucky, uh, ooh, that looks like a Pokemon game, that's pretty cool, and it's just, like, so many games, I can't wait to play them, uh, Daisy, you don't have to push me, like, seriously, um, I'm going to let you play the games, I was the one who brought you here, remember? Yeah, I know, but I'm just excited, first let's go eat pizza, that's what we always did when we were little, agreed, should we sit in a booth, or should we sit up one of these tables? I think we should sit at the tables because, look, we get the best performance, like, seats for Chuck E. Cheese and, like, all of his, like, friends or whatever. I forget what their names are called, though. Well, that's Chucky. Of course that's Chucky. I know who Chucky is. And I know the purple dinosaur is Mr. Munch. Oh, yeah. I forgot about Mr. Munch. And I think this bird one, her name is Helen, if I remember from when I was, like, really small. I don't know. I don't remember all of their names. It doesn't matter, Molly. All that matters is we got a pizza. Yeah, it's going to be here any minute. We ordered it, and I got mine with pepperoni. I got mine with extra cheese. Uh, DZ, do you think that Chucky is, like, just a little creepy? What do you mean, Molly? I think they're adorable. Because I just feel like they're kind of, like, staring at us, and I don't know. It's just creeping me out a little bit. No, Molly, it's fine. They're not even real. All right, well, I'm going to run to the bathroom, okay? I'll be right back. Okay, Molly, hurry up. The pizza's gonna be here any minute. La, 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 Oh, whoopsie. I accidentally went in the back to the kitchen. <laughs> Wrong way. Gotta find the bathroom. Restrooms. There we go. Phew, I really have to go, too. Wait, the door is locked. Oh, um, gee, it won't let me in. All right, is the boys' room open? Because I really have to go. No, oh, um, gee, I, I just, I have to go to the bathroom. Ah, all right, I'm gonna go in the back where the staff goes. Don't tell anybody. It's an emergency, guys. I have to go. Whoa! It sounds like there's a major storm outside. Oh, my gosh. I hope we can get home, okay? I've got to go check outside, look out, out the window and see. Holy macaroni and cheese! It looks like there's a hurricane. I didn't even know that that was coming. But I think we're going to be stuck here. Well, at least until the morning. Oh, no. Molly, 
Harry's not gonna like this, spending the night with the creepy Chuck E. Cheese characters. Hey, you can't be back here. You don't work here. Sorry, I had to use the bathroom. It's not my fault. Oh, oh, there's Daisy. Marty, there you are. Oh my gosh, you're not gonna like this news I have to tell you. Well, I'm sorry if you heard me um, getting rid of the bean burrito I ate earlier in the bathroom. Uh -huh. It was pretty loud. Marty! What? No, that was, that was thunder outside. Seriously? Yeah, basically, I think we're going to be stuck here overnight. What? What are you talking about? We can't be stuck here with these creepy guys. Ugh. Wait, what? We're going to be stuck here overnight? Cool, sleep over at Chunky Cheese. Yeah, except for something about them just gives me the creeps. Molly, they're not even real. But go look out the window. The storm is really bad. Whoa! Holy guacamole on my tackle! We are stuck here, Daisy. At least until the storm passes. Huh? I guess we're having a sleepover at Chuck E. Cheese. I don't like the sound of this. Something about it is just too creepy. Molly, I promise. They're not even real. Everything's going to be fine. Oh, look! Minnie Mouse is here. Must be someone dressed up like her. Um, yeah, I told you. This place is just, I don't know. Marty, you're the one that brought me here. And besides, we can play these games all night long. It's gonna be fun. Doesn't sound fun to me. Sounds like, sounds like we're trapped. My sister is so overly dramatic. Well, Molly, I guess we can lay down on these benches and take a night night. Yeah, they're not very comfortable. Maybe if I just... Lay my head on the side over here? Okay, I guess that's sort of good. <laughs> huh? What? 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 what was that? Dizzy, wake up! Why are you waking me up for, Molly? As if falling asleep on this bench wasn't hard enough. Sorry, I, I heard someone laughing and it sounded really creepy like a demon. Molly, you're just freaking out because you're staying with the characters of Chuck E. Cheese and you're afraid of them. <laughs> you're afraid of Chuck E. Cheese. That's so weird, Molly. <laughs> oh, laugh it up, Daisy. Laugh it up. It's all fun and games until Chucky comes for you. That's the one, Chucky, Molly. Chucky is a Halloween character that's like a little doll. You're talking about Chuck E. Cheese. He's a nice guy. He's a mouse. Oh, yeah, you're probably right. I'm just going to go to the bathroom. Well, I'm going to just try to get back to sleep. Don't wake me up again. Oh, all right. What was that? That sounded really creepy. Are you pranking me? Because this is not funny. No, Daisy. We have to hide. Whoa, Molly. You really are afraid. Um, okay. Let's hide. Yeah, let's hide. Um, inside this game looks really good, right? That's a good spot. <laughs> He'll never find me in here. Daisy, you could hide, I don't know, in one of the other games. Good idea, Molly. He'll never see us in here. <laughs> oh my God, Daisy. I think he might see you. Well, maybe I can reason with him. He can't be that evil. Are you kidding me? He's possessed and he's, 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 he's a demon. Hey, don't you dare to take my sister. Don't touch her. Molly, <laughs> he's got me. I'm captured. When the storm passes, try to get help. I will, Daisy. Hey, you can count on it. Get away from my sister. Oh, my God, guys. Once the storm passes, I have to get to the police. One eternity later. Finally, the storm has passed. I came out of hiding and now I'm going to call the police. I've got to help my sister. If it's the last thing I do. Police officer, right this way, right this way. So you said your sister was kidnapped? That's, that's right. Well, let's go take a look and see if we can find her. I mean, the reports don't show anybody being kidnapped from Chuck E. Cheese. Okay, but I, 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 I there's Chucky. Of course that's Chucky. He's a character that walks around, but he's not actually real. Yes, but my sister, she disappeared from here. I'll do a little bit more investigating, but I don't think this is where your sister was actually taken. Yes, it is! Oh my gosh, they're not listening to me. Huh. I know you're evil, Chucky. I don't know which one of you is actually the evil one, but, but, but I know you are! Welcome to Chucky Cheese. D -d 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 
Daisy? What happened to her face? It's missing and then she's transforming into a Chuck E. Cheese character? Daisy! Look guys, you can only see like half her smile and one of her eyes and the rest of her face is missing! Daisy, it's me, Molly! Do you know it's me? Welcome to Chuck E. Cheese. Oh my God, he's turned her into one of them! Ah, Daisy! <laughs> Daisy, say something, please! Welcome to Chuck E. Cheese, where a kid can be a kid. Enjoy a pizza. Daisy, you want to be a scientist? You have an annoying sister named, well, me, Molly. Do you remember anything? Please say you remember something. Welcome to Chuck E. Cheese, where a kid can be a kid. Enjoy your pizza. Hey, look, Chuck E. Cheese characters. I don't remember this one. Maybe she get my picture taken with her. No, no, don't get anywhere near her. She's, she's possessed. Oh, don't be ridiculous. <laughs> These are just fun characters. They're not real. That's exactly what my sister said. And then she turned into one of them. Oh, Daisy, it's all my fault for bringing you here. I'm so 